Welcome back to Doctoring Differently. Today I'd like to talk about the first step in Doctoring Differently. And for me, that first tangible step was a per diem contract. Uh, when I was considering leaving the academic position where I had worked for three years, it was my first position out of residency, I was very nervous to have that conversation with my boss and very nervous to send that resignation letter. Um, I, I was already detecting that the culture in medicine is that, you know, to leave a job at one hospital, really, um, it better be a reason like a spouse is moving to another city you have to you have to move for family reasons you can no longer be in your city it can't it it wasn't i'm not happy here so i'm going to move to the practice or the clinic down the street around the corner on the other side of town it always felt like it had to be a big momentous oh something else is taking me away um, but it wasn't i'm choosing for myself to no longer work here so um I submitted my letter of resignation um, for the reason that I just knew I could no longer work there and I was just not happy. Uh, but the first thing that I did uh, to keep myself solvent and to be able to pay my bills and to pay my loans and to do the things I needed to do was to secure a per diem contract at another hospital in town. Um, so it was, it, it worked out very well for me and I consider it to be the uh, cornerstone of doctoring differently to at least begin the process. Um, not asking you to go to a far flung region on a locums contract or build your own clinic or do all of these other things. Um, but to, to start to stay where you are or stay into the in the community that you're in and to be able to work per diem uh, really worked for me. Uh, per diem contracts, Latin for essentially by the day or per day. Uh, basically, you're paid by the hour, so you have no obligations to that department uh, beyond the hours that you give to them, uh, and they in turn will pay you by the hour. You can accrue sick time or, or paid sick time, but you do not receive benefits or retirement, uh, any retirement incentives. Uh, but that can be okay. We we'll, We will talk about all the ways that you can secure your own retirement benefits, that you can um, get your own medical and health insurance for you and for your family. Um, of course, I hear time and time again that being the major reason people can't and don't want to leave the jobs where they are, despite how unhappy they are, are benefits. And you can get them on your own. You can do it uh, because there are so many opportunities out here, outside of a traditional clinic or hospital-based practice that are likely far more lucrative than what you would make within it. You are sacrificing a lot of freedom and leaving a lot of money on the table in those positions. I understand they offer security uh, in terms of those benefits uh, and retirement, but you can do that on your own uh, and you can live a happy life and a free life outside of that. Um, if I can do it, I know you can too. But a per diem contract really was my first, first way uh, and really it bridged the gap into all of the other ventures that I now do outside of a traditional practice. The per diem was the very, very, very first one and I still do shifts from time to time at that same institution. Um, so whether it is at the institution you currently work, I understand that could be political to try to, to leave and then tr come back on a per diem contract. I would recommend trying. It's a system you know. Uh, it's the people and the players you know. Um, it is an EMR and uh, just a system that's familiar and that can be the first step really in just moving away from a conventional life if that's really what you want to do um, in terms of moving away from a traditional conventional academic sole hospital or clinic based practice. You can do that. Uh, and the per diem way is, is, is likely the first way to start. And more importantly, there's no limit on the number of per diem contracts you have. Uh, here where I am, there are roughly 
four or five major hospitals. And if I wanted, I could get a per diem contract at each of them. Uh, some require a minimum of hours or, or, or shifts a month. Some do not. Uh, sometimes you can negotiate the hourly rate. Uh, there's just a lot of freedom there. If you can get a few shifts at one hospital and a couple more at another, that can be another way to bridge the gap as well. So there's a lot of freedom and a lot of security uh, in initiating a uh, per diem contract at one or multiple hospitals in your community if you're looking to move away from that traditional, conventional, hospital-based practice. Uh, thanks for watching this clip. I will talk more about per diem. I will talk more about locums, aesthetics, telemedicine, veterans disability exams, all of which I do as a general pediatrician. Um, so I can't wait to share with you all of the many, many, many ways that it can be fun to be a doctor again uh, and that you can use your medical degree and your medical license uh, to make unlimited, unlimited money for yourself, but also to have unlimited freedom to be able to prioritize yourself, what you want to do, and your family. You can do it. Stay tuned. Next clip coming soon.